hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i will discuss about total float and free float so first i will explain you what is the total float and what is the free float and uses of total float free float then i will show you how to calculate total float and free float with example so let's start the total float total float is denote tf free float is denote ff total float is the amount of time any activity can be delayed without delaying the overall project duration so how you will calculate the total float this is late finish minus early finish or you can use another form formula so late start minus early start both are same in case total float negative value is obtained it is taken as zero and how you will calculate free float early start of successor minus early finish of current activity early start of successor means the activity which you want to calculate the next step mean call it's called successor so free float can be negative but total float if found negative you have to consider zero here one example is there the activity a b c d e f g r and is precedes a d accordingly you have to formulate one chart but i will show you in my next video how to make this chart but here i will only show you total float and free float for example total float you have to calculate total float for b so as per formula 30 minus 27 is the total float or 44 minus 41 is the total float and free float for example free float for q what is the formula free float of q q uh, uh, successor activity is p so p early start is 16 minus 16 is equal to 0 free float is equal to 0 i will show one example here she for b total float calculate man uh, calculate what is the formula late start minus early start three or you can use the formula late finish minus early finish in both cases you can find your result same and for example free float you have to calculate free float your early start successor activity so q successor activity is p p early start 16 minus early finish of main activity early finish so you can see like this sometime somewhere you can see the calculation like this activity minus 10 minus duration both cases you can find the same result because you 16 you get 10 plus 6 then only you can get early finish thank you guys hope you understand total float and free float concept if you have any doubt please comment me i will clear your confusion thank you have a nice day